What is up, like fam? No intro. Empaths? Dark Knight of the Soul. Ooh, let's talk about it. <laughs> let's get right into it. The Dark Knight of the Soul is one of the most important events that will ever happen to an empath because getting through the Dark Knight of the Soul means the death of the false self. Who is the false self? The false self is the identity that the ego has sold you, told you that you need to be to survive. Now, for an empath, this conversation from the ego will typically sound something like this. You need to be an introvert to be safe. You have to stay away from people. People are scary. <laughs> you have to fear everything. You're forever cursed to take on people's energy against your will. You have no say in whose energy you take on. You're forever cursed to only be in relationships with emotional manipulators. You're going to attract all of the narcs from all over the place. And this typically leads to not only a life lived in fear, but a lot of self-confidence issues and self-trust issues. Well, here comes the hero to save the day. Who's the hero? The Dark Knight of the Soul, disguised as the villain. Remember, guys, the dark is not the enemy. Why? Because Source is also the darkness, because Source is all things. Your superpowers are hidden in the darkness, but they're hidden and locked behind unhealed trauma. So when you heal the trauma that makes you believe all of those things that are in alignment with fear, now you step into your real authentic truth. Authenticity loves to be expressed. Fear is the barrier to expression. Once you heal the fear, you express your authentic truth fearlessly. Now for an empath, that authentic truth means the unleashing of very special abilities. Now, anyone that has healed their trauma, they are living a life on their own terms. They're in alignment with freedom. They're in alignment with sovereignty. They are self-validating, self-approving. Their happiness and value is self-generated. It comes from inside. It's not externalized. They're not chasing it. But now you add some empathic abilities in there, some highly sensitive intuition, some psychic abilities, the ability to read energy, to manipulate energy, to direct energy, to read other people's energy, mediumship. You start adding these different empathic abilities onto someone who's already healed. Now you're stepping into being someone that is supernatural. You're, you're on a, you're on a different plane. This is where the term super empath comes from because first of all, anyone that is healed is living life on their terms, but now you're healed, but you also have unleashed these powers that were once hidden in the shadow. And you got to remember you chose those powers before deciding to incarnate. You chose those empathic abilities. You chose to be an empath before deciding to incarnate because it was going to be very integral to the reason that you decided to incarnate, very integral to your life purpose, what you wanted to learn this time. So a lot of times I say you didn't incarnate to be weak and scared and an introvert, but maybe I should say you did incarnate to be weak, scared and an introvert on a very short period so that you could more deeply understand the opposite of that frequency, which is authentic truth and power, more in alignment with the dominant frequency of source, which is love. And since you are a fractal of source, having a physical experience, your natural internal frequency is attuned to love and out of alignment with fear. But you got to heal the trauma that makes you believe that you are anything less than whole, perfect and complete. So this is why the dark night of the soul is the most important thing that will ever happen to an empath because to get through it, you have to heal what makes you believe the false self is your actual identity. The false self is not your actual identity. That's the mask that you show to the world because you believe that that mask is necessary for your survival. But once you step into your empathic superpowers, now you become your authentic self and the world will adjust. I hope this helps you guys. I love you guys. Namaste.